The challenge is simple. I will open 10 master packs and 10 secret packs to try and build a deck and climb the ladder until we reach plat one. Sound too easy? Well, here's a twist. After I open a secret pack, it gets banned and I can't open it again. Welcome to the one secret pack challenge. Hello everyone, I am Gimmick Quattro and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be doing our episode 5 one secret pack challenge thingy that I've been doing. Cool. Now that we got the intro out of the way, we can uh, talk business. I am actually doing this on Twitch. I've decided that I want to stream me doing these videos. So if you want to go check me out on Twitch, it's actually Sino Nation. I will put it in the description. Um, I'll put a look in the description to my Twitch so you guys can go check that out. And uh, yeah, I will do a mix of Pokemon content for my Pokemon channel and I'll be doing a mix of Yu-Gi-Oh content for my Yu-Gi-Oh channel on there. So there's a lot of things we got to talk about. It's been a while since I've actually recorded this video and that's why I wanted to switch over to doing something more like streaming. So then I can kind of go along with the new-ishness of it all. Last season, when I first started this, is now over, and we are in a new season, which means I got 58 days to complete the challenge of hitting plat one, and uh, yeah, right now we are in bronze two, which is really kind of crappy, but hopefully we'll do better. So 58 days is like eight weeks or something like that. If my math is correct, that means I have eight weeks to get to plat one. I don't even think that's possible. I might have to start doing more duels per episodes. Or just try to like rank up once per episode. Just go as long as I can before I like rank up once or twice. Either way, I will figure that out as I go along. First things first that we have to do though is not solo, it's shock. We got to go into the shop because we got to do our first initial pack opening. But with that in mind, we have a new bundle. So we started off the series opening up these three bundles, one per episode, one for the first three episodes, and then we went to the regular master packs afterwards. But now we actually can go back and do this again. So we're going to start off here. And then see what secret packs we got from here. Ooh, you know what? A, n a nice little spread of cards. We have one, two, three, five, six, six supers. And one ultra, which is pretty good. So let's see what we're going to get here. We have a Lunalite Tiger? Is that going to be any good for me? I don't know. I guess I'll keep in the back of my mind. Dimension Fissure is like fine if I want to try to build a stun deck. Stun, stall, whatever. Gozuki's good. Gozuki's very good if I can actually get more... Uh, zombie stuff to look into. Other than that, I mean, Crusadia. If I can find Crusadia stuff, that might not be too bad. Let's see what else we have here. We have Soldier Gaia the Fierce Knight. We have Albion the Shrouded Dragon. This card is named to become Fallen of Alabaz while on the field in the graveyard. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can send one Fallen of Alabaz as a friend of spell trap to your graveyard. That's actually pretty cool. That might be become very useful. Uh, Guard Dragon Pisty? Don't know if I can do anything with that. And more Battle and Boxer stuff. I know I have uh, two Lead Yoke. So maybe if I got some more Battle and Boxers, I could build that deck to play. 
Artifact. I don't think it's a good one. No, Lancia is the good one, right? That's the one that everybody's playing right now. So this one's like fine, but I probably won't be able to use it. Other than that, really not much to talk about. Okay, our Ultra Rare. Let's see if we get a really good Ultra Rare. You know what? This is a good Ultra Rare. Mecha Phantom Beast Ariadon. This is used a lot in combo decks and stuff like that. This is a very good one to get. And I can put this into the scrap deck because it just requires two plus machines. Other than that, Cyber's Wicked Kid might be okay. But that's all I got. Sixth pack here. Alistair the Invoker. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's a really strong card to get. Interesting. Uh, Power Code Talker. I think that's my second one that I have. So that's pretty cool. I mean, Alistair's a very good card. That's a very tempting pack to go into. Um, Not much to talk about here. I mean, another we have a Blackwing card, but we're not playing Blackwings. We have Raid Raptors. So, uh, a Gozen match is an interesting little card that I may or may not be able to play at some point in time. Other than that, not much else to talk about. I have another Flower Cardian card. And I have, uh, this looks like it's at least two copies of Super, Qu Super Quantum White layer. So, uh, if I can get more Super Quantums, then I guess I could possibly play that deck. Ooh, that's a very Link-heavy deck. So, Extra Hero, uh, Extra Hero Dread. If I ever get any Hero stuff, that shouldn't be a too bad of one. Another Pesty. Um... And what is this? Dual Link Dragon, the Dual Dragon. That's probably not very good. Other than that, I mean, I got another Evil Sor card, or Evil Sar, whatever they're called. So maybe that might become useful if I decide to play those ever. And last pack, we have a Fluffle Penguin. Oh! Brilliant Fusion. We have two Ultra Rares. Nice. So Brilliant Fusion is pretty cool. And a uh, Windroid. This is, helps out the... Um, I'm assuming this is supposed to help out uh, Speedroids. And other than that, I don't think there's too much more for me to talk about here. So... That gives us nine secret rare packs that I've never gone into, by the way. I haven't gone into any one of these. So this gives me a nice little, um, little array of stuff for me to look into. So guys, my decision is Raid Aircraft Advancement. The reason why is because I already have a pretty decent machine kind of package, Earth Machine package in the scraps so it only would make sense to continuously go and get more and stronger machine support because that does seem to be my best deck so far so three supers two ultras and i think any kind of decent machine stuff should help out a lot so let's get into this we so in the front here nothing um in the back half here getting a second copy of this is probably really big machina mega form i think is a pretty cool card i don't i i like the machinas but i just don't know too much about them now fortress is really good like some of the stuff is like super good uh, Machina, Phantom Beast, Calgriff. Interesting. Anyways, let's continue. I will look at more of these cards in depth during the actual deck building. That, that stream we'll get to see. Uh, 
that chat will get to see, I mean, but not uh, during the actual video itself. What is this? Unauthorized reactive machine union stuff. Nothing really in there. Uh, we are... Doo -doo -doo. Pack number three. Yeah, we have another Cyber Dragon Naxter. I don't know if we already had three or not, but now we do. Or we might only have two, whatever. Uh, a Synchro. So far, nothing super standout-ish. But hopefully we'll get some more stuff here soon. Do a barrel roll. Isn't that like, supposed to be an Omnigate? It's like kind of, I guess. Sort of. All right, a super rare. Let's hope we got something in here. I cannot tell where it, Blackwing, if I wanted to go into Blackwings ever. Man, it's with a fake pack. That's just rude. Some of these machines I've actually heard of. Some of these machines I've never heard of. So... Um, Paleozoic Hallucigenica is actually not horrible. Like, any kind of Paleozoics shouldn't be that bad, actually, to have. So it's like a consideration for the future. Another super rare, and it's outside of the pack. Shadal Schism, that's actually a really good card if I actually get the Shadals. Cat Shark is, I mean, if I can play Waters, that'd be cool. Some more Phantom Beast stuff. Oh, we have a pack upgrade to Ultra. That is huge, guys. Wow. All right, cool. Let's hope we got something really good here. It's outside of the pack. That's not great unless it's like a really nice generic card, whatever. Let's see. Herald of Ultimateness. I will not be playing that anytime soon. I mean, if I can get to Ditrons, maybe. All right. Another Ultra Rare in pack number nine. It's outside of the pack, which kind of sucks. And let's see what it is. Ooh. Gearsu the Orchest Mecha Knight. This is might come into play eventually. That seems like a pretty good card to actually have for the future. And a third Ultra Rare here, guys. Again, outside of the pack, which is extremely unfortunate. We have an SR in the pack with Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion. O-Lion is actually, I think, the best Phantom Beast card. I know it's banned for a while there. And the Ultra Rare is Sulfacord Elegance. I do not have any of those, I don't think, or at least not enough to build a deck. So, thank you, but no thank you. Um, Yeah, I mean, there it is, guys. Not great. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Um, with last episode, I actually had one win, two loss, which does mean I get to craft one card this episode, which is nice. So I might be able to do something with that. And, uh, let's get to deck building. All right. So this is officially the deck. I don't really know what to think of it. I don't think it's too bad. Um, I probably could cut this down there. I don't think it looks too bad here. So it is a really weird mixture of Machina, um, Mecha Phantom Beast, Machina, and Scraps. Basically, the three machine archetypes that I have the most cards of kind of all put together. And half of it is Earth Machine, and part of it is just Wind. Wind Machine. So let's do the card by card. First, we have Mech Mecha Phantom Beast Warblern. Yeah. Warblurner. Then we have one Mecha Phantom Beast O Lion. We have one Ham Straight Strat. 
I'm killing it. We have an Ash Blossom. We have three Machina Gear Frame. We have two Scrap Chimera. We have one Mecha Phantom Beast. Mecha Raptor. I don't know half these names. Actually, we've got two of those. I don't know these names. I'm actually waiting for the, the names of scroll across the screen. So, yeah. So, we have two of those. We have one Tether Wolf. We have two Black Falcon. We have two Colt Wing. We have two Rayton. We have two Machina Possess Storage. Possess Storage, whatever. We have one Machina Rescavenger. 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 I am. Wow, English is hard today. One Scrap Raptor, two Scrap Golem, one Machina Megaform, one Machina Irridator. We have one Machina Citadel. We have one Pot of Desires, one Lightning Storm, one Machina Redeployment, three Machina Armored Unit. We have one Machina Defense Perimeter. We have one Sky Striker Shark something or other. I think it's just Shark, actually. We have one Infinite Impermanence. We have one Solemn Judgment. We have one. We have two Do a Barrel Roll. In our extra deck, we have one X Saber Aurabrellum. We have one Scrap Archfiend. We have one Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon. We have one Scrap Dragon. We have one Naturia Leo Drake. We have two Machina. Uh, uh, yeah, we have got two of this card. We have one Atomic Scrap Dragon. We have one Stateller Knight Deltaros. We have one Mrs. Radiant. We have one Scrap Wyvern. We have two Power Code Talker. And we have two Mecha Phantom Piece Aereo Dawn. If you are confused about why I made the decisions of any of these cards that I did, you can actually go back and re-watch the live stream that I did of this and which I built the deck during that portion. And I talked through a lot of my card decisions at that point in time, but I don't like the videos to run super long. So I will discuss a little bit more during the actual games. Speaking of which, let's get into the duels right now. So we are rookie tier two. We are really, really trying to get a little bit higher than that. We would like to maybe make it to gold five by the end of today. I think we only have to do one win during each section to really make that happen. So that is the goal. I do not have a lot of time left. I do need to push myself as hard as I possibly can and possibly do more duels if I want to. I really don't know if I want to go first or go second with this deck. I guess go second. I really have got no idea. I have not that far, that far ahead. I guess I've got plenty of go second cards or at least enough go second cards with like Lightning Storm and Ash Blossom and whatever. I guess Ash Blossom is actually an interruption. So Lightning Storm. But. So yeah, I might end up switching from three to five per match and like I might talk through three. And then, like, the last two matches, I might just do music behind them and do, like, a sped-up version. So, my opponents only played one card. So, I don't know if that means they were meant to be a go-second deck or not. But this puts us in, I think, a decent position. Okay. So, what is it that I want to do? That's the flip summon one. Special summon one. Um... I can summon this. I can special summon this. Let's just go with gear frame and search out of the deck. Effect Veiler? Really? I don't know. We got two cards of the way here, folks. Well, we actually have one card of the way. We have Effect Veiler and we set a card. So his hand does not seem that great. Mine doesn't either, but bam. 1800 to the dome, 1800 body on the field. Let's really hope my opponent still cannot do much of anything, which I think 
So I can you actually I can just summon this to make a scrap monster. The level eight. Where is the eight? Ooh, this is kind of ugly. Um, I cannot. I can go into this. All right, let's let's try to make some plays happen here. Oh, interruption. Herald Orange. Do you have to drop two? I'm so confused. That is a negate and destroy. Wow, my opponent did not have a great hand at all, it seems like. Fortunately, I'm not in a much better position. I have a bunch of monsters. But that's about it. So I can kind of see the problems with this deck. Medolce? Really? Medolce's. Weird. Scrap tuner. I wonder if having three was just a bit too much. Well, we'll see where we go from, from here. I don't think they're going to blow me out in one turn. At least I hope not. I probably shouldn't have overextended like that. I probably should have just stuck. I almost did just stick with the two bodies on field and then attacked. And then just hope for the best from there. Which may have may or may not have been a better play in this moment. Okay. I don't know anything about Medolce's. Medolce's are such a really weird older deck that, like, I really didn't think they were going to come up at all or that we're going to have to face them. Like, the biggest decks I'm actually afraid of facing are, like, Dragon Mage. Dragon Maids. Oh, thank you. You're adding cards back into my deck. Cool. But, you know, that's the only Scrap Wyvern I have, so thank you for recycling that for me. Pudding sis or chocolate mater. Pudding sis chocolate chocolate mood chocolate mode. Ah. Ah, uh, they might be able to blow me out in one turn. I mean they have to get a fair bit more damage on board. But they're already looking at 41, 41 points of damage. So I need 39 more. Alrighty then. They just need 24 more. Well, this might just be a loss here, guys. I did not see that one coming. I guess it's kind of what you get when you just shove a bunch of crap together in a deck and really hope that it works. Like, I really thought some of my decisions were smart enough. But the problem is, I'm just only need a thousand more damage left. The problem is, I'm just missing just, I think, key stuff. Like, maybe Machine Dupe would have been okay. And just other things. I don't know. And also, like, I'm so used... I'm not used to archetypes like this, right? You're just missing a thousand damage. Okay, what do you do? I guess it's protection. All right, so. Ooh. Lightning storm. No. 
I can't do much. I guess the hope is they go straight in for the attack. This thing should get flip summon and summon two tokens, which should give me one turn. I think. But if this thing can get destroyed in any way, shape, or form, I'm screwed. That's basically what it comes down to. So, I really don't know. Maybe I should have just surrendered here. Um, I don't think there's much I can do. Oh, they are going to go straight for battle. They are going to attack with the big one. I guess part of the hope was that they wouldn't attack with the big one. And attack with like one of the little ones as well. That means I could just keep a body on board. But this does give me two more bodies. So it does protect me for one more turn. Unless they can do piercing. Which I don't think they can. That's a crazy one. I did not see that coming at all. I am boiling, by the way. This room that I do all of this crap in, ugh, I am boiling. I can banish one from their graveyard. Don't think it matters. Let's get rid of a, just a Medolce. Just any name. Okay, I cannot do anything. I will summon this. I don't know, I think I attack this. Oh, once per turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle, right? That's actually really funny, because that just shovels one back into the deck. Um, So I lost, right? There's just no point in me continuing. I just should just surrender to save time. Yeah, I'm going to save time. I'm just going to surrender here. That's really unfortunate. Typically, you know, if I'm playing by myself, if I'm not playing for like a video, then I would let them do their entire business and stuff like that and play it out. But at this rate, like I'm trying to cut down as much time as I can for video sake. So I can't do that. And we are back into it again. Hopefully... Better hand, better matchup. Like I said, this is not a super, like, optimized deck. And I still don't know which way I want to go first or second. I can't set up any negates. I think I'm really just meant to kind of play through things. Is this hand any better? The answer? No. No, it's not. I guess the one reason why I'd want to go first is so I could play something like O-Lion. Or this guy. Whatever his name is. Uh, Hamstrat. And just hope that they can't summon out too much. And then let them get popped to get tokens on the field to work with. I guess that'd be like the only reason why I'd see that you'd want to go first. At least with the way that I've built the deck. I should look out for more machine stuff. I think earth machine or just even just good machine support would probably end up being enough to really kind of make this deck blossom. Or parts of it. So Cyber Dragons. Interesting. Running the Cyber Dark and 2. So this is Duel 3, by the way. I'm at a 0-1 loss record. <coughs> so 
So yeah, I think the plan really is for so I can kind of get more duels in is I will do three regular duels that I have been normally been doing and those duels will count towards my win loss record. And then I will do two or three duels afterwards just as extra duels. Um, so I can help kind of rank up a little bit more, but those will not count towards any type of rewards or anything like that. And those will just have like music behind them. I think that's the way that I want to do it. By the way, this is the first time I've ever actually live streamed and turning a live stream into a video. So I desperately hope I didn't screw any of this up. I do have it all set up in the settings, but I just haven't done the rest of it yet. So worst comes to worst, if I cannot figure it out, I'll have to go through, explain everything that I did, apologize, show the deck, and then just play different duels, different matches. So let's hope this all works out just fine. I am seriously attempted though just to upload upload this entire live stream just on my YouTube channel as well unedited just going for it just so it's out there for people to see as well if people are curious Ooh the wifey maple bacon oh yes bacon soda bacon soda on stream i don't know why i paused i didn't mean to pause all right machina gear frame what am i going up against right now first and foremost when this card is activated you can add one cyber dark monster from your deck to your hand with a different name when this card is in your graveyard during your main phase you can immediately after this card resolves normal summon one cyber dark monster you can only use effect once per turn once per turn you can equip you can equip the monster from your graveyard by the effect of Cyber Dot Monster. Okay. And then this is Cyber Dragon while in the field. Include Cyber Dragon Monster. This card's name becomes Cyber Dragon while in the field or in the graveyard during each battle phase. If this card has not declared an attack quick effect, you can target one machine monster in your graveyard. Uh, one machine monster you control with 2100 or more attack for the rest of the turn. This card, that monster gains. Weird. All right. So, first I want to activate this. I want to dump Citadel to summon this. Then I want to normal summon this. Activate the effect fact and get this enter battle phase I think actually if I'm wrong about this and he's going to gain 21 under attack and it's going to destroy all this and it's not going to matter if I'm correct about how that card, if how this, uh, this link works. And if that is true, then that sucks. And I just, yep. So that is how that works. Um, that sucks, but it does give me, I can special summon Citadel. That's how you get out Citadel. I understand now. And then we want to go to main phase two. Um, boom. I probably should have put the igniter, this one, irritator in defense, but it's fine. Um, do I want to activate the effect of Citadel now? No, I think I want to wait. I think I want to wait. I don't know what my opponent's doing. Oh, what what just happened? I I don't know what just happened. 
Well, that sucks. I just lost. I probably should just activate that effect when I have the chance. I'll let this one play out. But. Wow. This is not easy. Like, at all. Interesting. Yeah, this is... I The deck seems cool, right? Like, it, it seems like it should work. And it's just not. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is just slaughter. Well, that just seems ridiculous. <laughs> Pumping up, up just a little bit more. That's whatever. So that's zero two so far. Not not doing so hot here, guys. I somehow still ranked up, which is lovely. And this is uh, game number three in which I will commentate. And then I will do a couple more matches after this. In which I will not commentate. Or I will, I'll commentate for stream, but for the recording, it'll just kind of be there, kind of sped up. Not really edited out too much, probably, but who knows. The videos in that case will become longer. And which, you know, it is what it is, but I will actually get more done since I, this is only a weekly thing, unless I decide to do this twice a week. But uh, I don't have the gems for that, and it's like a whole other thing, so whatever. Maybe I'll just do it. Maybe until the end of the season. Maybe I'll just run this until the very end of the season and then see how high I got. Then I'll just restart and then try to beat each season. So at the beginning of every season. Maybe I'll do it that way. All right, so... I probably actually have better plays, but this is what I'm going to go with right now. Does this card matter about tokens? Oh, I can't use tokens with this one. Interesting. I guess that's also more like a going second card. Crap. Whatever, guys. I'm figuring it out. So leave it yet, surely. Actually, I don't want to get monetized for singing that song. Or demonetized. I can't get into the Whatever. Um, activate the effect of O-Lion to get a token. And let's see if I can actually get some Mecha Phantom Beast plays going. This was the part of the deck I was actually most excited for with the Mecha Phantom Beast portion. And it just doesn't seem to be doing much. I might actually have to look into Mecha Phantom Beast builds and see if I can figure out something better. Let's normal summon this. Let's activate this to banish it. And we will normal summon this. And then we can go into... I don't know if this is the better play or not. Let the effect. See, this is what I wanted the deck to do, right? Like, this is what I imagined the deck would do. Um, Like, initially. Stamping destruction. I wonder if I should have been playing this card the entire card. I've had it in my hand a lot. Might have helped out a little bit. All right. 
here we go. A real board setup. I made actual plays. I summoned monsters. I special summoned. I destroyed cards. Let's go. I'm doing real things here. But I'm trying to figure out what the heck this deck, what kind of deck this guy's playing that runs Stamping Destruction and Luster Dragon. Number two. Okay, and they're doing the same thing again. Okay. Okay. Um, I'd rather you didn't do that. Oh, he's going to do it anyways. I... I told you. I'd rather you didn't do that, but you didn't listen. You didn't heed my cry. Ring of Destruction. What are you going to Ring of Destruction? Obviously that. Does my effect still go off though? It does not because reading... Uh, oh, it still does. Well, then I'll just pop this. Duh. Then I'll activate this. And I'll send that back there I'll normal summon this set a duel that I might actually win against the deck that isn't very good at all it seems just like normal dragons with ring of destruction this does not seem like a very good deck that I'm going up against here guys it really doesn't but hey whatever Whatever you say. Waka 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 waka. Waka 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 waka. Um, yeah, let's say no. It doesn't seem like he's actually been able to do much of anything. So if I just negate this, that should be it. Let's go! We have a victory here, guys. We went 1-2. A. Which, you know what? Maybe I should look something up. I went 1-2 last week, right? Oh yeah, 1-2 is 1 craft. So we got to do 1 craft again next week. That's uh, That's pretty big, I think. Definitely if I want to keep playing this deck. Guys, we're bronze five. Let's go. We're making it places. I think at the beginning I also said it was bronze, and that's just not true. Um, but whatever. So we're now officially bronze five. We got some gems. We got a new link deck. Gems are going to be really big. We got some craft things. All right. So for those of you who are watching on YouTube, I have concluded the regular portion of the video in which it's just three main duels that will actually give me a prize or something like that. From here on out, I will just be doing two, three duels that are going to have music behind it, sped up. Um, just to go increase on the ladder a little bit more and just so I can get a little bit more entertainment out there. I don't know. <sighs> Maybe I'll make a poll. I think I'll leave it like this for this week and then I will make a poll and see if anybody responds to it. Um, and then I'll see what I go from there. Because I think I like the idea of just trying to see as far as I can go with the deck and then restarting at the end of the season. So anyways, guys, 
I think that's how I'm going to do it. And I think I'm going to close up the stream as well. I've been going for about two hours and I got a lot of things to do today. So thank you on YouTube for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Also go check me out on Twitch so you guys can be a part of the live streams when they do happen. And to those of you who are here on Twitch, thank you for watching on Twitch. I hope you give me a follow and I hope I see you guys back here again in another video, uh, another video and another stream and peace.